So another very important video which is related to the MATLAB and today we are going to discuss the symbolic expressions. So uh, what are the benefits of using the symbolic expressions? So in previous video we have seen that in order to solve different equation we have to write their coefficients. Okay, So uh, with the help of the symbolic expressions we may write the uh, variables in their original form and then we can process them as we want them okay so uh, in order to represent the symbolic expressions what we have to do initially we have to use a command which is the sims command okay and after it we have to write the symbols whatever we want to use okay so let me use x here because x will be the only variable which i am going to use in my equation so writing it and then pressing enter what I will have, I will have uh, sims x which will be represented like a structure here. Okay, So you can may see here and it will be stored like a sim here. Um, after it what we can do, let me have it equal to a and a, a is equal to x square plus 1. Okay, So let me write x square plus 1. So in order to write the square, I have to use this cap operator and then to and then after it I have to write 1 and let me make it equal to 0. So in order to use the equality operator what I have to do I have to use these two equal signs while one equality operator here will be used as the assignment operator. Uh, the same uh, principle has been used in other programming languages and most of you are well aware of uh, this terminology which I have used okay so after writing it what will happen let me press enter and I will see that the equation will appear here which will be like this one okay so in order to make it very clear and very beautiful as that of our equations we have to remove this uh, cap uh, from it so in order to do it I can also use another function here and that is a pretty function and uh, giving it a what will it do let me press it and I will see that now this expression is here which will have this x square here okay. In order to solve it what we can use here I have another very important function that is a solve. So just giving it a it will give me the answer which is now this one okay. So you will see that these are the two factors of this equation uh, we have which was basically x square plus one okay. Similarly in order to write the previous equation which I had so it was basically let me write it equal to b and b is x square plus 2x plus 1 and that is equal to 0 okay. So that is uh, the x square plus 2x plus 1 and in order to solve it what I can use I can reuse the command here solve and giving it b uh, it will give me this solution. So this is the solution of my equation. Okay. So apart from solving equation, symbolic toolbox can also be used for other purposes as well. So let us have again sims x, y and uh, here we have this c and m as well. Okay. So suppose we have these symbolic expressions and in order to write the equation, 1 equal to y and that y is equal to the x square plus 2x plus 1 ok. So suppose we have this equation and uh, here we can see that this is the equation in the ordinary form. So in order to write it into the form which is uh, prettier than that of this what we can write here is we have the command which is pretty and writing equation 1 I can very easily see that it is now x square plus 2x plus 1 which is like the usual one ok. Uh, similarly now in order to solve it what we can do here we can write the command solve and giving it the equation 1 it will give me the roots which are given like this one ok. So these are the roots of this equation and writing the value of y here will give me this value ok. Uh, similarly uh, let us have this equation and if we want to solve it or write it in the feasible form what we can do here we can write here 
simplify and in simplify equation 1 we can see that this is y square is y is equal to x plus 1 whole square okay so that is the simplified version we will have uh, similarly suppose if we have another uh, equation and let us write it let me first clc so uh, we have equation 2 and this equation 2 is let me have this um, x plus 1 divided by x square plus 5x okay so this is basically the equation we have okay uh, so now this one is the equation and writing it into the form of prettier one so pretty equation 2 so it it is like this one okay uh, similarly in order to see that what uh, are here the denominators and numerators here so writing it like n and d equal to num den is the command here and writing this equation 2 it will give me the numerator is x plus 1 and the denominator here is x square plus 5x okay so this is another command here similarly uh, let us have uh, the uh, equation here and writing same uh, e m and c okay so writing e equal to equation equation 3 is e equal to the m multiplied by c square so e is equal to m c square and in order to find the equation or solution of it in terms of m or let me say let us say i want to find out the solution in, uh, for c here what i can write here i have to solve this equation which is equation 3 and i have to solve it in terms of c so it will give me the solution which is here okay uh, so you can very easily find the solution for any variables by using this one similarly if you have to find out it in terms of m what it will give you here the answer will be is equal to e divided by c square and writing this okay so this is a divided by c square similarly now if you have the equation like um, we have already defined x plus 1 and this is whole square and writing it equation 6 equal to this one okay so now uh, okay so there is an issue with it and what was an issue here i have written the wrong bracket so this is now this one and uh, now in order to uh, we can see that uh, while expanding it i will get x square plus 2x plus 1 so uh, matlab can also do it and expanding it equation 6 and it will give me x square plus 2x plus 1 okay so this is all about the symbolic expressions you can use these symbolic expression for solving different number of equations for your own assignments or for your own task it will be very uh, useful toolbox for the mathematicians or all the people who have been working with the equations so thank you so much uh, and i will see you with some more videos in our upcoming lecture thank you